Welcome to this Absolute Beginners Blender tutorial number 11. In this tutorial we'll talk about animation. I'll change to the animation layout and I prefer to use the graph editor to look at my animation. I'll change to top orthogonal view and the 3D view and uh, what I want to do in this particular animation I just want this cube to rotate or make an orbit around this light here and um, I'll also move the camera out a little a little bit I change this to the normal and pull that out go back to global and uh, look at this now I just will I will only make several steps in this tutorial and I'll complete this off screen and then we'll come back and in the next tutorial we'll actually render this but before we do that we have to do a little bit of planning uh, because the way we have set up our rendering will affect how we plan our timing uh, here's the button window we we'll maximize that and I would like to have this TV Paul uh, it's not yet set correctly. I want this resolution, the regular Paul resolution, 720 by 576. And uh, that means that you have the frames per second is 25. I'll give a name for the file. We'll text uh, test anim.avi and we'll change to AVI codec. So those are the that's the planning that I need to do in advance here or planning or just setting is determining certain settings. Uh, and I can now save this file in And in test one, so we'll probably save this more times. But this is a good habit to just save your, you know, what you've done so far. Especially when you've changed settings, that uh, could be critical. I want to maximize this. Um, no, I don't want to maximize it yet. This method of animation means that I'm recording location, rotation, and scale of an object, this cube object, um, um, ver relative to times and space or keyframes. Now, the first we're in the first frame, and if I press I on the uh, alphanumeric keypad, there's an insert keyframe menu, and I'll record the location, rotation, and scale of that object. And you can see that it, you know, we have a set of parameters that are created. And if I maximize that window, it's it hasn't drawn any curves yet because it's only the start that is recorded. Next thing we do is we move forward. I want this um, animation to take um, uh, 140 frames, somewhat less than six seconds. And um, the next thing we have to do is to move forward in, in time. So I, I click on this timeline here, left click there. That means that now, what I record now is valid for that time. And I want to Move this up like that and rotate it around the z-axis, R, Z, like that. And then record that. I'm going to take one more. Rotate around the z-axis. And record that. So now we've come to the 39th frame. 
and we go back to here to look at what that looks like and this looks like this this blue here is the rotation of the object and that's in degrees and that usually takes off quite a bit whereas the location variables here don't take up as much time or sorry as much space in the display so this these are curves that describe how these you know the x location the y location and the z location how they changes and if you look at this blue line here which is the z location it's not changing and if i left click somewhere in this graph then that th that will move the time cursor to that frame and if i press tab i switch to from editable to not editable mode now it's editable now it's just i can just mark it up so anyway this here is the z location and since we're moving in the same plane it just stays the same so it's it's a good once you get used to it uh, you can quickly see what's happening to your objects. We'll go back to that. And then we can play this animation if we want to. It's not complete yet, but it doesn't matter. You can still play it. And uh, I'll go back to... And then it just goes... And it's going to play till 140 frames and then start over. So we're, this animation isn't finished the way I intend to. So I'm going to stop there. And I can move to this keyframe here because that's where we're at right now in this progress. And I'll save that by upping the number on that, anim test 2 So I press F2 plus on the num keypad and enter and then I've saved my new file. And I'll stop here and complete this animation off screen and come back with the completed animation in the next tutorial and we will render it there and look at the, the rendered results. So this ends this tutorial and uh, thank you for watching and if you feel like um, subscribing just uh, press the subscribe key. Thank you and have a good evening.